In this video, we're gonna take a look at five ways that we can convert our Excel files into PDF documents. So the first method we're gonna take a look at is just up in the File tab. We can save a copy of our workbook. And here we just need to select PDF as the file type. And then we have more options here. And we can choose a new location for our PDF, as well as more PDF options here including advanced options right here. And to create our PDF, we just need to hit the save button here and we're done. The next option we're gonna take a look at is again, up in the file tab, there's an option here to export and we can select create PDF. And there's a button here to create a PDF file. Let's press that. That's gonna open up this menu, which is similar to the save as menu. Here it's the publish as PDF menu. We can choose a new location for our PDF, select some PDF options, and also more advanced options here. And then we just need to hit the publish button and we're done. The next method we're gonna take a look at is using the quick access toolbar. So here's our quick access toolbar. And if we right click, we can customize the quick access toolbar. And here we can select all commands. And if we scroll down to the section for commands starting with P, then we can add this command here, publish as PDF. Let's add that to our quick access toolbar and press okay. And we got our new command up here. We can click on that. And that's just a quicker way to access our publish as PDF menu here. And again, we can publish our PDF file. The next option we're gonna take a look at is also a quick access toolbar command. So let's go up to our quick access toolbar and customize it again. Again, all commands. And this time, well, let's type E to get to email. And here we have a command email as PDF attachment. Let's add that to our quick access toolbar and press okay. And we have a new command up here. Let's try it out. So it's going to create a PDF file for us as well as attach that PDF file to a new email message. And here our email message has the name of our Excel file and then we can send this to whoever. So this is a great option if you need to create a PDF and then email it to someone as well. The next option we're gonna take a look at is using Power Automate to convert a file saved in OneDrive to a PDF. So this is great if you want to create an automated process that automatically converts your files to PDFs. So the previous options all involved clicking some sort of button, et cetera, to create our PDF. This is gonna allow us to create a process that automatically converts our files to PDFs. So let's create a new flow in flow.microsoft.com. And our automated process might be triggered by a variety of events for this demo. I'm just gonna create an instant flow that I trigger myself. So I'm gonna trigger it with this button and let's create that flow. And I'm just gonna call this my Excel file to PDF. And now the first thing we need to do is add a step. And again, this is only for files saved in OneDrive. So I'm going to look for my OneDrive connector and I'm using OneDrive for business. And there's a command here to convert files in OneDrive. So let's select that. And we just need to select our Excel file. So we need to locate that. So here's the file I wanna convert. And then the target type, 
We're just going to keep it as PDF. And then we need to add another step. So this converts the file, but then we actually need to create the file in OneDrive as a PDF. So let's search for OneDrive again. And there's an action here, create file. And we need to give it where we want our PDF created. So I'm gonna create my file in this folder here. And now we need to give our PDF a name. And the name also has to include the .pdf extension at the end. So make sure you get that in there, .pdf. And then the actual contents of the file, we're gonna use dynamic content from our create file step here. So let's use this dynamic content button. Here's our create or convert file step. And here's the file contents that's created from that step. We're gonna use that as the contents to create our file with. Now let's just save this. And let's test it out. And we might need to sign in first. And let's run our flow. And that ran successfully. Let's go check out our folder. And here's our PDF file. Let's open it up and check it out. There we go. So that's five different ways that we can convert our Excel files into PDFs. So we have four manual ways as well as one way that we can use in automated processes as well. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.